Hello everyone. In today's episode, I'm uh, I'm joined with Morgan, and Morgan um, is the creator of uh, the logo of this podcast. Um, recently, um, made the new version um, and uh, of the logo. Uh, well, uh, well, thank you, um, Morgan, for, for coming on today. Oh, hi. You're very welcome. Yeah, great, uh, great to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and 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 today, what me and Morgan are going to really be speaking about. Is uh, is autism because actually um, Morgan has autism as well, um, uh, like, like me. So we're gonna be talking a little, little, little bit about that as well. But um, if we just start off with Morgan, if you could like introduce yourself a little bit. Uh, sure. Yes. Thanks for the introduction there. Uh, sure. So of course my name is Morgan, um, and yeah, I'm a graphic uh, gra- a graphic designer, um, and yeah, I've been designing for about ten years, and um. Um, uh, located in the United States, in the States, uh, specifically in Texas, in the Austin area. And um, so, yeah, that's where I've done all my graphic design work. And um, and then, yeah, of course, as you mentioned, recently did, did your logo, which that was a lot of fun, a lot of fun to work on. And uh, so, yeah, I hope to create many more for you in, in the future. Yeah, yeah, because you're, 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 you're very good, aren't you, Morgan, like, um, with your creating like your logo and all the different stuff you do. Right. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, logos in particular is something I really enjoy doing and and I think things a lot of fun. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, when you yeah, when you uh, brought this to me, I said, oh, I, I definitely look forward to working on it. That would be a lot of fun. So. Yeah, yeah, because um, you, um, it, it, I suppose it comes to like a hobby of yours if you like, r- really enjoy doing that kind of stuff. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. Good way to put it. Yeah. I definitely describe it as a, yeah, a ho- hobby or, yeah, there's something I like. I mean, I've always liked art and, you know, it's really it's kind of basically a form of art and, uh, or, you know, graphic art. Um, and so, yeah, so I think, I think, it's, I think it's pretty fun. Yeah. Because like we said before, when we was kind of thinking of what to do for the logo, um, um, I, I, I said that like because I'm not the best of drawers, um, I, I draw something on a diagram, and uh, I said to you that, that don't uh, like copy my drawing because it went very good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, remember we we called one of them like a look like a cloud slash brain or a cloud in the brain or something. <laughs> yeah, that was it, Morgan. Um, right. um mm-hmm. is, is there anything else? that um other than like your, your your job that you do is there anything else that you're interested in uh like the hobbies or anything uh sure yeah so yeah i guess when i'm not you know perfecting pixels or on on the on the computer um yeah i mean I'm definitely yeah, a video game fan i love to play video games uh yeah movie watcher and re- yeah recently got a subscription to uh, netflix yeah um, we did that did that recently to so become kind of a movie person yeah. and uh yeah so okay. there's some of those things a uh, big basketball fan love to watch basketball yeah yeah i um like with like your like going on netflix and watching things do, do you prefer watching a series or or like a film like a movie uh yeah good good question um yeah i think i kind of like it all actually like I like it all yeah yeah i think all of it could be pretty fun um yeah, sometimes yeah, I watch a movie. Uh, sometimes it could be like a good documentary or a series. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, what kind of what things are you like into? Are you, are you into like horror? Are you into like action, um, romance? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, romantic comedy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah. I would say a little mixture of all of those things. Yeah. So yeah, yeah horror horror movies or um comedy action uh it's just yeah a good good mix of stuff yeah okay and and, yeah. and like with um like playing games is there like are you playing any games at the moment um like on like consoles and, and stuff uh yeah i have uh it's kind of old school now but it's it's uh at the the ps the ps3 yeah. Uh, which I'm surprised it still works because <laughs> um, it's like over 10 years old. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm getting my money's worth out of it. And yeah. for sure. Yeah. And uh, my $300 really stretched a long way for that. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, it. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I, I definitely enjoy work um, playing that. Usually, play like the NBA, NBA two K games. Okay. Yeah. 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 I remember once I played uh, like an NBA game. Um, I, I didn't quite get the controls at first, but um, but yeah, um, but as you said, you like basketball, so uh, that's something you're interested in. Right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's my definitely been my favorite sport. I know we had the uh, the Super Bowl, you know, over the weekend. Oh yeah. And um, and then we'll have the All Star game next weekend. So it's definitely a big sports uh, uh, month. Uh, lots of good sports going on this month. It's like. At the moment, the Winter Olympics are going on, aren't they? Um, at the moment. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I don't really watch the Olympics um, much nowadays. Um, really, um, I did go a while ago to the. Like, I think it was the um, European Championships. I went to in London. I went to the O2 to see. Uh, I think it was Mo Farah had a race, and Usain Bolt did so. Um, I, I do like to go to sport events and stuff, but uh, yeah, um, hockey's always nice to watch though when the like Olympics are on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Olympics, Olympics are cool. Um, yeah. Be another fun one to watch. Yeah, yeah. There's, mm -hmm. there's always lots on when you're on the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so Morgan, if we go into like uh, a little bit about autism, is there um like um, do you remember when you was diagnosed with autism? Yeah, yeah, it was kind of a um, an uh, interesting story um, where uh, I actually ended up getting kind of diagnosed with it uh, a little later in life. Um, yeah, typically, typically, I think you tend to get diagnosed with it kind of early in life, you know, yeah. when you're when you're younger. Uh, but yeah, I guess it was the other way around for me. And um, so yeah, I did like a series series of tests. And um, and then yeah, they found out that it, yeah, I had like a, a form of autism, um, kind of lower lower on the spectrum. So I guess kind of a mild form of it. And um, so yeah, so and I guess in, in the in the past they they diagnosed me with um, with uh, you know with other things, uh, but this this is I guess this this is the latest diagnose diagnosis. And uh, so yeah, it's. It's it's all interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, was it long ago that you was diagnosed then um, with autism? Uh, I think it was about. Um, almost trying to remember, even though it wasn't long ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it was like, I think about two years ago. Okay. Maybe like, or or actually almost, but maybe three years ago actually. Yeah. So. Yeah. The year's 2022 yeah. at the moment, so, so yeah, it, not long ago. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, because um, I think it's more common now, nowadays you get people when they're a bit older um, yeah. getting diagnosed with autism. Um, so, so yeah, um, right. how did you feel when you got told you had autism? Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, oh, wow. I was like, I was kind of, I was kind of like, oh, wow. I, I have a malform of autism. Like it was, it was a, uh, it was kind of a surprise actually. Mm. And um, yeah, I just found, yeah, I just found it interesting. And I was kind of like a loss for words. It's like, oh, wow, that's, mm. you know, but um, so, but that, that was the latest diagnosis they gave me. I, it was other thing, it was other diagnosis in the past when I was younger, like maybe a minor minor uh like learning differences or learning disability yeah. uh, things like that and and then maybe some kind of auditory uh something as well uh but yeah that's 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 the latest one they gave me in yeah so, do, do you remember like how that came about like um with you getting tested and and like said that they say you've got autism like um like did like a was it you who kind of thought to get the um to get checked uh if you had autism uh you're right yeah i think it was because it all kind of started me because i was kind of having a little trouble with jobs and um and we were 
just trying to just get just kind of pinpoint maybe what was happening. And so, yeah, it was actually my, um, yeah, it was my dad um, that um, thought I could maybe get back to maybe doing some more testing again. Okay. And, and um, so, yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty much my dad that got it. Okay. In terms of his idea. Yeah, but um, at least that you know that you have autism um, right now. So, um, yeah. so like, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's something that, um, yeah, it, it, at least you, um, you know, like, like maybe why you found maybe some things maybe a bit more harder um, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it'd be, yeah, it'd actually be kind of interesting to hear your story too. Like, um, was it the other way around where we kind of diagnosed it was at, a, at an early age or, or how? Oh. I was diagnosed when I was nine, I was. Um, so it was a little bit different to yours. Um, I don't remember, with you, you probably remember more when you was getting tested and stuff because I I, I was young, so I, didn't, I don't remember much about it, but I know I had tests and stuff for getting, autis no, getting tested for autism. And I didn't really, um, when I got diagnosed, I didn't really um, understand it. I um, went in classes, maybe other people, got um things more better than me in lessons or I didn't so I kind of I suppose I didn't accept I've had autism at first and then I did once I got older and stuff uh, I decided to speak about it um to other people so um so yeah it, it, a little bit different to yours like getting diagnosed and everything um just I suppose the age part you've been a little bit older at the time than when I was um when I was nine so um I was I was probably yeah I, I, I yeah I was in I was in school then so um, um a while ago for me right 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 and um did you take like any certain uh like kind of co uh courses um uh, like kind of through middle school high school or uh like um I or think, just normal ones? Yeah, I, I did go to, um, I went to like the ma ma mainstreams. Um, I started off in a mainstream school and then I went to a special school with other people that had autism as well and different other special needs. So um, that, that was better. Um, the, there was things that you'd think you didn't want to be um, like, because it's all about being different when you have autism and there are some similar things as well but um but yeah that kind of helped so from leaving primary school going into middle school um secondary um yeah that that, that was a uh, probably a, a massive change I, I would say uh, but then um getting help you need is it's nice that like there are people that do have a little uh, well are trained and have an understanding of, of autism Mm hmm yeah yeah okay okay yeah I took different kind of courses too um you know through different like middle school high school and uh, stuff like that and um and yeah I, I, yeah I, I think I, I feel like I was fortunate enough where I had lots of people that were really helpful and um and stuff like that but yeah I was able to like ma manage through it and yeah I get you know my you know, high school diploma, and um, then after that, I went to like a community college in town and got my associate's degree. Um, then after that, then got my uh, bachelor's degree. So I was able, you know, some of the little differences that I had, I was able to still like, you know, make make it make it through, and uh, still graduate. And uh, so, so it's one wonderful blessing. So yeah, yeah, and and what. Um... Have you noticed what things that you find harder, um, Morgan, like, like um, in, in everyday life, really? Like, like, is there anything that you struggle with uh, or anything like that? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, maybe, you know, maybe when I get, like, maybe in, maybe at the workplace, um, sometimes, like, where I get, like, maybe uh, instructions or something like that, and... Uh, you know, maybe it might take take me a while to for it to register, so to speak, or to uh, you know, kind of get the concept 
Um, so sometimes it might not, it may have to be kind of repeated a couple times in order for me to, to understand it. Um, and uh, so sometimes I have trouble with that from time to time, but uh, that, that's just sometimes, it's not all the time. Uh, but I think the more like kind of clear it can be and the more like detailed it can be, you know, the, the better, you know? So, yeah. yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of a visual person to any, any, uh, remember how I did like, you had me do like that sketch, yeah. did, did that sketch for me? Yeah. Yeah, I think things like that really help or is really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, because I know we had to um, talk about it a few times, didn't we? Um, before yeah. um, well, we, we, um, we, we got it um, and did it. But yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, I'm like that sometimes. Um, um, yeah, so like for me, um, I, I don't like particular noises, um, like like with eating and stuff. Like if someone eats louder, I don't, I'll probably move away and stuff like that. Um, so so yeah, it's just those other things. Um, but yeah, um, like like do you, do you find it hard to also help? Like if you're struggling with something uh from time to time some sometimes it can i can feel a little comfortable uh, un, uncomfortable uh, a little bit uh where um i feel like i may be asking him almost too much you know and uh you know i had this one person where they got frustrated and they said um uh, didn't i didn't you ask me that 15 times you know you know things like that so they some people can sometimes get a little frustrated with you and um, and then it's great when they can kind of stay along with you and be patient with you and, um, you know, so, so yeah, it's, um, so, so from time to time I, I can get kind of, uh, or maybe this doesn't feel the most comfortable asking him and asking him until you understand. Uh, but I don't know. And you sometimes have to do what you got to do if you don't quite understand it. And, uh, so I guess it is what it is, you know? So that's it. Mm. Uh, th that's it, Morgan. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's great. Like, um, yeah, but um, like with autism, it's it is a hard, um, it's a hard, I suppose, to the process at first. I think whatever age you are, if you're like, um, it's hard to. I suppose understand it. Like, did you when you was diagnosed, Morgan? Have you heard of autism before? Um, you know, you got diagnosed. Uh, I sure have. Yeah, I was I was uh, familiar with it. I uh, heard of it before, and um, and so yeah, that's why I was like, yeah, I just never thought the day that I could be possibly diagnosed with it, and uh, so that's why I was oh, you know, I was like, oh wow, you know, um, so yeah, it's. Oh, all, all very interesting, you know. Yeah, yeah, it is interesting because like um, everyone has it like differently. Um, like where, another thing with autism is that some people don't get sarcasm as much. Um, is that would you find that is kind of something that like are, are you okay with humor? Like because I know some people with autism, if someone tells a joke um, or something like that, and they think it's a joke, it might it may come over as an offense or um, mm -hmm. perhaps, um, hurt someone's feelings sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like how, how would you say humor or like uh, sarcasm is with you? Uh, right. Um, yeah, I do think uh, that's something uh, that's kind of part of me too, where I sometimes uh, where you're like, uh, 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 you know, we don't really find it really that funny. And um, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, sometimes I think I do have that where, um, where, uh, maybe in the inside it's like, Ooh, I didn't think that was that funny, you know? And, um, so I don't know. It's, it's, it's something I, it's, it's something maybe I might, may have maybe taken the heart a little bit or maybe didn't like uh, particularly like a lot, um, you know, or, you know, or I could find it really funny. Yeah, just just kind of just it, it, maybe it kind of depends like on my mood, like maybe the, the kind of day I'm having or um, things like, or maybe what the joke is on or what it's about, you know, things yeah. things like that. How, how about you? 
I used to be, like, I used to always take offence to sarcasm um, when I was younger and stuff, like, growing up and everything. Um, I used to get quite upset about it, but nowadays I don't. Um, I, I'm okay. Um, I, I can take a joke, but if someone goes too far, I, I won't be happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah. That, that sometimes that happens. Like, I kind of can tell with a joke now and not. But if someone's actually taking the mickey, I, I do kind of know that. Um, so, um, but yeah, I like some people I speak to don't get sarcasm. So you, I suppose, you know, there's the type of people that you can be have a joke with. Uh, you can have still have a joke with people that don't understand it. It's just like mm -hmm. not um, being out of like out of like your um, out of the limit. But, uh, but yeah, that that is one thing that um, some people don't understand um, if you don't have autism. And it is crazy that not everyone knows about it as well. Because um, I went to a workplace once and Morgan, they didn't understand it. Um, uh, well, they never heard of it, really. Uh, well, they heard of it, but they didn't really know much about autism, which, I caught, which kind of came as a shock. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, and the, and the uh, there are jokes maybe weren't too appropriate or weren't really too, uh, uh, yeah, just probably just inappropriate, probably, right? Yeah, yeah, or like um, mean. So, so it can come, it can come across as yeah. mean. Um, right, right. Well, there's um, the, and also uh, Morgan. Um, another thing of autism. Um, is some people take things literally. So say um, if they're meaning something and um, like they tell you to do something or, or something like that, like some people take it more seriously. Um, going, it kind of goes back into like sarcasm a little bit, but um, some people take things like like uh, to heart sometimes. So so yeah, uh, that that's another thing. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I do think some of that can happen to me from time to time. Um, but I, I try not to let it get to me too much and, you know, not, not like bring my day down and, um, you know, yeah. So, but yeah, I guess maybe, maybe some people are just like that where they're, you know, you know, I guess, I guess we all have our different forms of humor and stuff like that. And, you know, maybe it might be one that you don't maybe particularly love or like, you know, and uh, so, yeah. you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I know what you mean. Like, um, have you kind of spoken to many people um, about your autism, um, like like friends or, or family members, or, or, or do you prefer to keep it to yourself? Uh, right, yeah, I, I tend to kind of keep it to myself. I, yeah, um, this is why this is uh, something new for me. <laughs> And, um, and so, um, but yeah, I don't actually, actually not too many people actually know. And, um, so yeah, so yeah, yeah, but yeah this, but yeah, so this is kind of wonderful to do this with you and, uh, you know, kind of, yeah, talk to someone about it and, uh, kind of share it with other people. So, yeah, yeah, because it's kind of a choice thing if you want to speak about it or you don't like um i suppose um like like i don't like um i don't talk about it like um well i do like because the, the good thing of having autism is that you can get extra help um i don't know if you did that when you was at school morgan you got maybe a little bit of extra help um and maybe done other uh, some other pupils in your in your class um like um uh, that's another thing where you can have extra help and stuff, uh, which is good. Like, um, it's because when I was at school, I, I did get help. But when I got asked, sometimes I said, oh, because if other people in the class knew what they do, I didn't want to look, I, I, I was thinking to myself, I don't want to look silly like to the others that um, if I'm not going to, if I don't know what to do, they might laugh at me or something like that. So, um, yeah. Like help is it's always nice to have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely. I, 
yeah, the extra help um, I got too was was always helpful, and uh, so yeah, so yeah, definitely, definitely, all all of it helps. All of it's helpful. Definitely, definitely, mm-hmm. and um, like um, yeah, another thing with autism is um, like meeting and talking to new people. Do, do you find that hard? Uh, meeting and talking to new people. Uh, uh yeah some, some sometimes sometimes um yeah i mean because i'm a i lean i feel like i'm a little balanced of like introvert and extrovert uh probably closer more to the introvert and um so so i mean so some because of that sometimes it's it can be sometimes it can be a little challenging or uncomfortable for me um especially more like in like more for like group like group like setting or like with multiple with multiple people um usually better like more on a one-on-one one-on-one like you know kind of thing more kind of like this i guess basically yeah, yeah. it's and, easier yeah. it's easier isn't it yeah. yeah and um so yeah so so from time to time it can get get like that to me yeah yeah, uh, 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 I know what you mean because I, uh, like, I always used to be, um, I used to always find it hard when speaking to new people. Um, I suppose I wasn't really confident um, to do that. Mm-hmm. And, like, like, nowadays, like, if I were, for example, if I start at a new workplace, I would be pr- probably pretty shy or to meet new people. Um, and I wouldn't probably ask for help when I probably needed it, I'll probably just stand there pretending to look like I know what I'm doing when I actually don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I was like, in class, I probably wasted time. Teachers thought maybe I was just doing that to waste time. Um, and the thing, like, as you said at the beginning, Morgan, like, like being low functioning, um, I suppose is more like thought a person does know what autism is. It doesn't look like... Um, like, um, because they always say like the high functioning people look more autistic than us, mm-hmm. but uh, you, you, uh, sometimes you'll find that people say you don't look autistic, and then I, I would always say what you're supposed to be to look like autistic because people do think high functioning is more than low functioning, but with low functioning, it's still that you have autism, you're still going to find things difficult and stuff. So, um, yeah, there's there's so many people out there that have autism with in all different ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, lots of different forms. You know, uh, you know, higher on the spectrum, lower on the spectrum. Uh, yeah, so there's diff- different range, definitely range, lots of different ranges of it. So. Yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah. What um, uh, random question, Morgan? What hand do you write in? Um, yeah, I'm a right hand, uh, right hand person. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I am too. Um, uh, like, um, do you like have any, um, do you, like at school, was that something that you found hard, like to write and stuff like, um, like in English and stuff, like maybe take more time of your work, um, like at school and, and stuff? Uh, yeah, I, did, I remember when I was a kid, it did take me a little longer to, learn kind of like the, the writing like writing like the writing form or writing process um yeah so now i still write a little on the weird a little on the weird side kind of um so it's, it's still i still don't write like in the regular writing form still because i never did grasp it down um but you would never guess it by the way i write i have a really good like um like penmanship and handwriting you know, I oftentimes get like compliments on it, you know, uh, saying like how nice and neat it is. And um, so it could be kind of the art and artistic side of me, why I write really nice and neat. And uh, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you take, like, um, like in the school, they might think you're just wasting time by taking your time, but you're not, you just want everything just to be just right. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, I, I remember, yeah, I would, I suppose I'd like to do it fast when I was going rush thing just to get it done, but um, it's always best to, um, 
do it, take your time. If you take your time doing things, you're more likely to like um, not get a word wrong or spelling or anything like that. Um, but if you do, you can you can always go back. But but yeah, it's just those little things that uh, kind of work. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you have anybody else in your family that has, uh, you know, that's um, any any like an autism at all, or or is it just uh, just just you? It's just me. Um, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just me. I, I have autism. Um, I I have I do have a lot of family members, but they don't have um, autism like me. Um, yeah. like um, I suppose uh, yeah because I didn't know anyone that had it uh, when I was diagnosed really with autism Morgan um, mm. so um, it was yeah I suppose yeah I didn't know anyone um, what about you is there anyone in your family that has autism uh, yeah that's a good question I I mean I don't I don't believe so I, not, not that I know of um I mean, I'm not really sure. Um, so it could be a first. I could I could be the first one in the in the family. Um, so yeah, but yeah, yeah. So maybe maybe just me. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Uh, do you know many people that have it? Like any anyone you speak to that has autism? Um, mm, I don't. Uh, I don't think I do actually. Um, Okay. Yeah. I think so yeah, I think actually maybe just you know, just I think just you. I think so. Okay. Oh, well, at least you know some part. At least you know uh, one person, Morgan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, at least. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, cuz yeah, we can ask each other questions if we're struggling or anything, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, well, um, well, Morgan, it's been it's been really nice talking to you again. Um, like, too. and it's great that you've come on the podcast. Um, I, I know that you was a little bit nervous, uh, because you you you've never done anything like this before, but I mm -hmm. think you've done you've done really well. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely feel like you said in terms of feeling just this, this is a conversation. You know, just kind of having a little chat, a little conversation. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty much what it feels like. Yeah. Yeah. Is before we before we finish on the podcast, is there is is there anything else that you'd like to say um, uh, before we go? Um. Hmm, yeah. I feel like I feel like I should be saying something. Uh, and I always remember that. You know, I feel like I should kind of have a nice, good closing closing statement. Um, yeah. But yeah, I guess this you know this be who you are. You know, feel kind of comfortable who you are, and uh, yeah, just this be you. So, okay. yeah, well, that, that, that's a, a, a really good statement there, Morgan, uh, because it's completely, completely true. Just be who you are. Right. Yeah. Right. Be okay. kind of, I uh, think, kind of authentically yourself. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, well, thank you again, Morgan. It's been very nice uh, talking to you. And now you can say uh, you've been on a podcast. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. True. Um, sure. And, and yeah. the one you've actually made, like you made a logo for. So, uh, yeah, well, well done there, Morgan, because your your work's great and uh, you're also really good to speak to on the podcast. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for everything uh, you said there, and uh, def definitely all a lot of fun and all all, all fun stuff. So yeah, well, uh, well, thank you, Morgan, and uh, I hope you have a, a nice rest of your day. Oh yeah, you're very welcome. Yeah, you you too. You you as well. <laughs>